The biggest reason a 2024 recession could be ushered in. Hey everybody, Scott Walters, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting, pull no punches, no sugar coating it, no rainbows, no sunshine. It's going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpack it today. Welcome to the show. I hope everybody's doing absolutely great. So here we go. We got to tackle another one. I was just talking to my good friend. Thanks for the phone call. He was checking to see how I was doing because I've been fighting some kind of illness. It's been challenging. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. I want to take this opportunity to let you know I pray for each and every one of you as well. My, Your success is my top priority. So thank you. I was talking to Michael Bordenero, a big time YouTuber, great guy. I've been on his channel. And, uh, we, you know, we were talking and I said, you know, Michael, one of the things I think your your audience loves about you is you're very relatable. He's such a relatable guy. He's not like me. He's not like some sales guy in a, in a tie. And uh, he's younger in his tank top, marching around, giving real talk. And people really respect that. And I do as well. But I said, you know, Michael, there's one thing right now that I believe is going to be much different. You know, we, I always say this. Because one of the things we heard early on, especially from anybody in real estate, is no, no crash risk here. This time is different. Last, the last crash was due to subprime mortgages. Yeah, well, this bubble is bigger. And anytime the market exhibits bubble behavior, they're going to have crash risk. Your, your clients will respect you much more if you can at least admit that. How can agents not admit that? Anytime the market exhibits bubble behavior, regardless if it's different or not, it's going to have crash risk and now we see the data showing up showing crash risk like never before like not only recession a depression is on the table with many economists now anybody not wanting to admit that or just people that are are lagging behind eventually are going to have to admit that as well and so we got a lot of people now that were saying no crash risk here now saying well maybe a correction and then once that wasn't going to, you know, then they're going, well, maybe a, a recession. Eventually, they're going to say, well, the <laughs> depression, but it'll be a short one. Who knows? Those are the waters we're swimming in. So back to my friend, Michael Bordenero. So Michael, you know, there's one thing that's going to be, I believe, a little different in this one. Because we see, and I know you see, we have a lot of areas already going through price reductions and year-over-year -year declines in their prices. And the downturn is is being ushered in in many areas, a lot of the areas that like Vegas is and Phoenix is and the, the areas that crashed in the last downturn are exhibiting crash behavior again. But then we have new players due to migrational, uh, you know, due to migration, remote working or whatever the case may be. A lot of areas got euphoric that didn't get euphoric in the last bubble. Now, a lot of, I know there's like I'm, uh, that one guy who's a friend of Mark, Michael Bordenero's, the uh, Reventure Consulting, Nick, great channel, Dis dissecting data to the T. And he's showing, you know, local wages don't support these local prices. So for that fact, these areas are at risk. It's totally logical and believable. And, and I'd have to side with him on that. Then he's showing other areas that are saying, well, no, you know, these areas are relatively safe because they didn't ex exhibit extreme bubble behavior and wages are now keeping up with the cost of homes in that area. So they're more insulated, totally logical. And I totally agree with that one as well, except for one simple thing. And this is what I shared with Michael. And I, he agreed, whether he did that to appease me or not, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he's a pretty authentic guy. And he would have told me if he didn't or not. But I said, here's the deal, my friend. In 2008, we weren't all on screens. We weren't driving with screens. We didn't have grandmas and toddlers on screens. This go around is going to be much different contagion is going to play a bigger part in this next downturn. So I believe even if you live in an area that's relatively insulated from crash risk, like where I'm sitting at today is, is the playground for the rich and famous. It was the last to get hit and the last downturn and the first to rebound. But eventually we took our lumps, right? Took our lumps because locals can't afford houses here. <laughs> and it was just the way real estate's local. But here's the thing that concerns me about this next one. Similar to the way we... Hey, everybody. A quick break from the show to bring you today's video sponsor, Noble Gold. Global financial storms might be raging, but thousands of investors in precious metals with Noble Gold Investments are smiling. They know that whatever happens, their investments will be safe from the turmoil. Talk to a Noble Gold Investments expert today, and they'll talk you through all your options. Call 877 646 5347 today and take control of your financial future. 
A big thanks to Noble Gold. Always be careful when investing. There's going to be risk. Now let's get back Silicon to the show. Silicon Valley Bank get bailed out instantly. That wasn't because of anything other than to control contagion. Why? Because we saw bank runs starting the second that happened, not only with that bank, with other banks. And so contagion is a much bigger component now than it was in 2008. And I believe because we are so connected now, social media and mass media now being such a big component of our everyday life, good news travels fast, bad news travels faster, contagion will sweep into markets that looked sound. I would not rule out crash risk from other areas because the thing is, it's herd mentality. Just we, like we saw the FOMO, the herd mentality of people going and buying. Once people recess, even if they're financially fit and they see other people recessing, they recess too. In final thoughts, I come to you as a friend, as a content creator, as a real estate guy who wants to see you not only win in real estate, win in life. Understand the waters you're swimming in now. Shark and fest. Contagion. Welcome to the swimming pool. We got a big issue with right Contagion now. playing a role in the next downturn. We're already hearing economists predict a 2024 recession knocking on the door. For all intents and purposes, you know and I know we're already in one. For it to officially be announced is probably going to be some hocus pocus from leadership. Unfortunately, it would appear the cat's out of the bag and they're probably on borrowed time i would never suggest anybody do anything that i'm not doing or willing to do myself insulate yourself the best of your ability understand the waters you're currently swimming in it's better to have a plan and not need it than need a plan and not have it many people didn't have a plan they drank the stimulus kool-aid and they're out there running on fumes i don't want that to be you if you halfway expect this You'll be much less like a deer in the headlights if and when this thing plays out. You'll be able to operate within it much more efficiently. You don't have to rule it in. Just don't rule it all the way out. In the meantime, I'll be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media links in the description of this video if you'd like to follow me there, along with links to channels I've appeared on I think you might enjoy. If you need help buying or selling real estate here in America, I have the biggest network of top-rated agents in the nation ready to assist you. It'd be our honor and our privilege to do so. Email in the description for you as well. Also, if you're watching from your television set today and you enjoyed this video, gonna love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Please go make it count today. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.